Hey you guys, it's Molly. I am super excited because I'm gonna be working with something that I've never worked with before. And it is the Primary Elements by Leslie Olmstead. So I will show you there. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I'll take you down on the canvas and show you like how I mixed the paints and everything. Um, but it's this polypore. You can see it there. And um, you mix this with the pigment and then you do whatever you want with it. But the results so far have been, I, I really like it. I've done um, one other pour and the iridescent colors are just amazing. So super excited to show you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I do. So here is the polypore here. And the instructions are on the side, but you're supposed to put about an ounce of polypore. Oh, my light went off. Okay, so a little bit more. And then, whoops. <laughs> I give up. And then I'm using this one here is the Mystic Blue. And it comes with these little spoons. They're so cute. All of this is, uh, the primary elements are in my um, Amazon store as well if you guys wanna check them out. But you do not need a lot of pigment at all. Like that much pigment, watch what happens when I put this in here. So I'm just gonna dump this in here and then stir. And then look at this pigment that comes out of here. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Love it. It is gorgeous. And it's pretty much a good consistency. Leaves a little bit of a trace on it. So if you're just pouring it out of there, see how the, it's a little tiny mound before it goes back into the cup? Um, I normally do a little bit thicker on my ring pours, so I'll see how this one comes out. The white I did with the polypore, and then you can see my consistency there, but I did my Winsor & Newton as the um, base. So there was no white pigment that I got, but the colors that I'm using are that Mystic Blue, Emerald, Periwinkle, and jasmine so okay hey you guys i'm so excited to try this um so i got these like i said i got these colors i'm trying to figure out i have my cup layered right here i'm trying to figure out which way i want to layer them oh, let me just straighten me out just a little bit I'm gonna pour out of this side here. So I'm just gonna start with the ring pour in the center. These colors all layer over each other. They're so shimmery and bright. It's really, really, really cool. My white may be a little bit different consistency than the others. I'm not sure. I'll see once I start tilting. If you guys notice that when you tilt, you lose your rings immediately. Could be a couple of different things. Could be that you didn't use enough paint and you're having to stretch too far. Could be the consistency is too thin. Or it could be that your consistencies of your paint are different. I had a lot of paint in this cup and I don't want to drip. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it looks good. I didn't add any water to this mixture um, and it, it came out to be about the right consistency. Now, something that I did notice is um, I practiced on like a little tile just to see how the pigments would react and um, I noticed that the 
if you ran your um, torch over it, it would put a skin almost immediately on it. So I would not recommend doing that. I would let your paint sit if you think you have any air bubbles in there. So my rings are actually holding up really, really well. Wow, this is super cool. The rings on this are crazy. Keep going around. Also, if you're having trouble with a ring pour, the way that you tilt your canvas is also very important. So let me turn this around so you guys can see it and touch up these sides. There's a little something right there. Oh, I just smushed it. Would you look at that? Those must have come from my canvas itself. Gosh, you guys. Wow. That, oh, this is so cool. I'll have to show you. I'm sure that you can't see it right now. Just gonna stretch off a little bit more of the paint and try to get the center over there. There we go. So I will show you how crazy shimmery this is. Hopefully I can get you in my light and it looks almost cloudy but there's no there's no satin enamel in this there's no nothing it's just the polypore and the Windsor and Newton so let me finish that up and then I'll show you okay whoops almost knocked over the <laughs> I mean, come on guys, what, what, what video would it have been if I hadn't like almost broken something, right? So you can see in here, and I'm sure this is gonna dry like super shimmery, absolutely. But look at how, so you, I mean, you can't, even, you can't even see it, but it's like, it's very hard to explain. It's like a shimmery, iridescent, and that middle, the lines held up really well, so this mixture, this polypore mixture, really did hold up. Maybe you can see it like, I don't know. You guys, let me know if you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll probably show this once it dries as well because, wow, I really, really, really like it. The effect is like amazing in there. I'm like so pleased with this. Let me get the light out of there. Let me see if I can come on this side and show you. It really looks 3D, but such a soft center. All right, you guys, so this is dry now, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get you, there you go. See how that is kind of iridescent? And the center stayed just like it was. It's really like soft looking. I really, I have to hold it this way because of the glare. But I really, really like it. And it dried with this glossy finish on it. There's no varnish um, on this because I just did it. But And then the pink kind of got lost. It was almost like a stain underneath. Um, but I really like it. I like all the small little lines. When you hold it in the light, it shimmers. I can't really get a good representation, but the colors kind of change depending on what lighting you're in. It's really, really, really cool. So there it is. Hope you guys liked it. I'm definitely going to be working a little bit more with this. I do like it. I might mix some of the pigments in with my regular pouring medium and see how that does too. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting.
Bye.